We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. 1962 can be what is called as the beginning of the space race. Between 1969 and 1972, 12 men have stepped foot on the surface of the moon. And no one has done so in over 50 years. Well, we are going back. And this is how. NASA's plan is to not only re-establish our presence on the moon, but colonize Mars. It took over 50 years to get us to this moment. The moment that we are going back. The morning of August 29th, 2022, NASA plans to launch a mission to the moon. This mission is designed specifically to test all of the systems on the SLS rocket and further develop the Orion spacecraft for future human-rated missions to the surface of the moon. The SLS is a new generation of rocket systems, which are the most powerful rockets ever created. The crew module will support the crew throughout their flight, while the service module will provide the crew with life support systems. The rocket itself is made up of three major parts. The exploration upper stage includes cargo and extra fuel for lunar orbit. Also the massive core stage and the two side boosters, which make up the rest of the body. And together, this is the world's most powerful rocket. This rocket exceeds expectations from the legendary Saturn V in many ways. Instead of bringing everything with them, like the previous Apollo missions, they will take advantage of pre-staging from international and private partners who will launch and land everything needed before the crew arrive. This program also includes a new space station in orbit around the moon called Gateway. This station can hold robust lunar landers and provide a strong communication relay. The Gateway is also capable of adjusting its orbit to reach every part of the moon. With each successful mission, we push for the next wave of men and women to explore the moon and prove that we are ready to go even farther.